Hello, hello, hello. Try this and see how it works today. Yesterday, YouTube Live last night would not let me stream. Anyone comes, that is. Trying to get everything straight. This is what I uh, accomplished last night. Hey, Dar. I'm not going to do my spiel or anything until I figure out whether or not um, this manages to actually work or not. Then I will edit out this first part before I put it up. Hello, Helen. Hello, Dar. Let me know if there's any major buffering issues, please. Excuse me. Hello, Dot. Hello, Christy. Hello, Norma. Welcome, everyone. Okay, good. That's a good start, Norma. Good start. All right. Got the air conditioner on because it's pretty humid outside. And I turned it off while I was in the kitchen eating because the air conditioner is in the kitchen window. It blows right on me when I'm in there uh, reheating stuff and eating, cooking, whatever. So I've got it back on now, though, because it doesn't take long to warm up when you have the air conditioner off. Waving to you, Dot. Ooh, seems to be a little uh, dark there. Maybe it's my settings a little bit. I had to change them for you, Stream, and uh, ooh, no, no, no. Sorry. Definitely getting rid of this part. All right. Not too bad, I guess. Well, of course, Norma. Well done with those jelly print um, transfers. You went from not using your jelly um, plate at all to producing awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start because it looks like the buffering is okay. Everything's all right eh? by the sound of it. I don't see anyone saying there's any really big issues. So good afternoon and welcome to music scrap, the musical scrapper. Oh, actually, I'm hold on. Cancel that. I'm going to give myself a signal to make it easier to know where to um, put the uh, snip the uh, video. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk today. Ugh. Good afternoon and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. It is a warm, humid day here on the east coast of Canada. I don't know if we're going to get any thunderstorms coming through Moncton or not. I think they're a little north of us, but there's severe thunderstorm. Watch for 
uh, parts of uh, New Brunswick right now, east of me, but I think it's a little north east. So not, not for Moncton at the moment. So, hey CB, welcome. For those of you watching the recording, this was recorded live on YouTube live. So um, it is what it is. So I did this last night. I wasn't able to uh, stream live on YouTube. It wouldn't let me. Um, there was too much buffering. I think Amazon Prime Day was getting in the way. Um, so I streamed on Ustream, and then I forgot to save the recording. So anyway, most of the techniques that I used, I will be doing again anyway. Um, all the marbles and stuff, and I haven't done anything with the jar except put on masking fluid. So. Um, I'm going to do another layer on the background. I decided that I wanted another layer in the background and I'm going to try and fix up the edge of the table here. I'm going to use some tape to try and straighten that line out. So, hi, Kimberly. So I am, <coughs> this is my M. Graham watercolor palette. The only thing that's not M. Graham, this is Windsor & Newton um, Opera Rose. M. Graham doesn't have an Opera Rose. Um, and then this is my is Shin Han ta ta Titanium White. So those are the only two that are not M. Grimm. So anyway, I am using Thalo Green. I am using Cerulean Blue Deep Cobalt Blue Ultramarine. And I'm for the orange marbles, I used the Azo Orange um, neutralized a little bit with some burnt umber and also a little bit of the translucent um, orange iron oxide, transparent orange iron oxide. I mean, I also threw in a little bit of pyro red on those orange, on these orange marbles. So I'm going to zoom in. A little bit and show you these marbles up close a little bit. So this is the marble that represents, I have to fix the edge of it, it's not very and round. And then there's a jar of marbles. So this is for an art contest. Uh, most of you have heard me talk about it. Viola Desmond is a Canadian. She actually grew up in New Glasgow, um, town next door, like right next door. You drive out of Westville into New Glasgow um, to where I grew up. And New Glasgow is the largest uh, town in the county where I grew up. So that's where the hospital is. That's where um, we did our shopping, grocery shopping, all that kind of stuff. And her first uh, protest against uh, racism and segregation um, happened in the movie theater in New Glasgow, where although it was illegal to post signs in Canada of segregation, so they weren't allowed to put, you know, blacks only, whites only signs up or anything like that. However, it didn't mean racism didn't exist. Um, so it was expected by the owners of the theater in New Glasgow that blacks would sit in the balcony. And so one night when Viola Desmond went to go to the movie, she decided she wanted to sit in a better seat than up in the balcony. And so she did and refused to move when the owners tried to make her move. And that was her just her first protest. Um, she did uh, led a lot of protests in Nova Scotia, in New Glasgow and in the Halifax area to help um, get the black people of Nova Scotia um, less segregation and more equal rights. She is um, going to be the first Canadian woman to be on a dollar bill alone other than Queen Elizabeth um, who's on our $20 bill. So what year? Oh, that's a good question. What year? 
Uh, let me look that up, um, Carol, because I never did look up exactly what year it was. Um, just a second. Let me look it up. So this, uh, while I'm looking it up, I'll continue with the story. So this movie theater ha had been scheduled... Demolition. <sighs> oh, yeah, she and her husband um, owned a barber shop in um, Halifax when they moved to. Okay, she went to Glasgow. 1946. 1946 was the protest. 1946. So the theater was um, destined to be demolished. Um, however, a local lawyer and entrepreneur, a real estate entrepreneur in the Glasgow area, has already saved several older buildings in New Glasgow from being damaged and has renovating. Um, <coughs> and so he bought the theater and it's renovated for business. And he's having this art contest for artwork that's going to be displayed in the lobby of the building and on the exterior of the building they have um, places for large um, print copies of, of artwork. <coughs> <coughs> There's uh, $20,000 in prizes, two top prizes of $2,500. So anyway, I just decided, my sister said, Jean, you should enter. And I was like, okay. And it's not necessarily, you know, they've said it's to memorialize her protest in New Glasgow that began her whole movement. And, but you don't, didn't have to use that as your theme. However, since it is meant to memorialize her, it made sense for me to choose a theme. So, I'm just putting tape here because I need to get a nice, better straight line here. Um, so my theme of my painting is going to be that there is this group of, perp of people who are all the orange marbles who have um, and all the, these marbles here will all be blue. So there's this group of people who have constraints around them, okay, that don't have the same freedoms as these other marbles do. Okay, so that's rep representing the black people, except for Viola Desmond. Now, you can't see very well yet, but there's going to be a stream of light here. She took a stand and decided to put herself in the spotlight <coughs> and break out of those <coughs> constraints to be amongst all the other marbles. So, in other words, people are human no matter the color of their skin, just as marbles are marbles no matter their color. So that's kind of my presentation. That's the meaning behind my art. Hi, Orla. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah. Before Rosa Parks. Now, now remember, um, although Canada had and still does have racism, 
wasn't to the same volatile extent as it was in the States, thank goodness. <coughs> However, you know, racism is horrible no matter what extent it exists. <coughs> I'm not liking the shape of the side of the bottle here. It's like I came too far out, but anyway, I can't change it now. I don't, not without making a mess. So I'm going to start again. I've finished all my orange bottles. I've got my palette here still from last night. I'm going to have to redo my ultramarine or my cobalt because it got orange in it and that's going to make mud. So I'm just going to take the orange off the top. I wet that cobalt. There we go. Let's make sure I do it. Okay. So I need to re-wet these. Put my spritz bottle here. The blues, anyway. And my green. And my gray. Okay, and spritz my paints just. <clears throat> so I need to wet my background again. I am going to do another layer on the background. Wet it with my one inch Grumbacher flat. One moment, please. Oh. Yeah, my, <laughs> this, uh, board that I'm using for this is uh, too large to put on my little stand that I have. So I kind of stuck. I always do wet on wet for my backgrounds because I'm not very good at a Wet on dry washes. They're a little more difficult, in my opinion. Doing the second wedding. This is a hundred pound Artistico, hundred percent cotton paper, hundred forty pound, three hundred GSM. Whoops, sorry guys. There I go again, not watching. Oh, being on camera. Yeah. 
least I caught it this time. <laughs> Last night, here I was working away on this solo orange <laughs> marble. There were people in chat and no one noticed that I had zoomed in on these marbles and hadn't moved my camera to focus on this other marble that I was moving. So here I painted the whole table, first very light gray layer, and I painted this whole orange marble and no one even told me I was completely off camera, not even close to being on camera. I'm like, really people? Thanks a lot for the help. Okay, I need to put it like this a little bit. Need to get rid of this from on the tape so it doesn't uh, run back on me. Although some of it's still from last night. It's not wet. Okay. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I am going to heat gun that. Oh, my dirty water is really dirty. I should have I should have cleaned my dirty water. Oh well. <clears throat> I will zoom in in a moment. I'm just going to heat gun this. Hi, Mindy. Anyone who else? Anyone else come in? I guess I suppose I'm in Carla's time right now, but I have to get this in the mail tomorrow morning. So. I have to get it finished. I have the frame bought. I didn't know whether we had to frame it, send it in or not, so I am going to frame it. So. Hi, Shana. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. I just saw your comment. I think I'm going to send a little write-up and kind of put it on the back of me, just introducing myself as an artist and the concept behind my painting. So. I'm not sure, Helena. I have to go online and look. There probably is. <laughs> Who knows? All right. probably is I just I read the information there's probably a a form that's better much better excellent tape is a miracle miracle tape
Okay. So next I have to do my blue marbles. Well, I'm going to do the, um, reflection of that marble first of this orange marble first. I need to find my edges. My circle punch that I used for my marbles just uh, I just punched some a uh, one inch circle into a piece of acetate. Obviously, it's going to be a little elongated. So I wanted to use the round part as a... Hmm, I didn't even do a very good job of that. Star, nice to see you. I may need to leave part of this even white right here.
Oh, shoot. Welcome back. Hi, Jillian. Welcome. Yes, I'm on. It's supposed to be the show. It's supposed to be the the uh, reflection. It is the reflection. I still need to add a little white to it. Well, I'm trying to make it look like the reflection. I don't think I made it long enough. So now I need to try and make it a little longer. I need to elongate it more so it's obvious that it's not a marble. But that just might ruin it. not done it's not done i have to add some dirt yet <clears throat> I didn't take the uh, masking fluid off this yet either, so.
Okay, I'm gonna try that. Hi, Eileen. It's about time you showed up. I have five unpainted here. There's three unpainted here, three unpainted here, and three unpainted there. Those are all be blue. Five, three, three, and three. And those will all be blue. I'm not sure. That might still need to be elongated more. What do you guys think? Of course, if the light almost above it, it doesn't wouldn't really be elongated that much, right? So but I still need some. I may have to end up using some white. I don't want to use white gel pen if I don't have to, but That's okay then. Okay, I hope that white stays like that because I think that's perfect. Okay, so I can put the orange away now. My orange is done. So now. But I've messed up my blues. Oh. I am going to take a baby wipe. <sighs> and my dark orange soaked into my ultramarine, so I need to be, I'm going to need to, that'll make an ugly brown. Well, not an ugly brown, but a neutral that I don't want. <laughs> Same thing happened to my cobalt, so I'll have to reset that one as well. Let's back up this orange, so. Okay. Well, I know that I love the regular distress paints on my, the jelly plate, so I'm pretty sure I would love the oxides. All right, so I need to mix some more cobalt blue in the center and ultramarine. Now I can start on my blue marbles. I've got several photos that I'm referencing for color and design of the marbles. And I need to redo cobalt. Cobalt is that kind of in the middle neutral blue it's not too warm, not too cool. I will be using the um, Cerulean Blue Deep. This is Cobalt and Ultramarine. And I just... Got it all over my arm. Let's take that off. <clears throat> uh. 
Okay. So I am going to wet my marble first. Woo. Watch out for those dripsies from your ferrule. Luckily, it dropped where I wanted water and not where I didn't want water. I'm going to start with some cerulean blue here. Now, before it dries, I'm going to go in with my damp, clean brush, and I'm going to pull a little blue away. From the area where the glow is so that the white will extend once I take that white off. Once I take the masking fluid off, I mean. And that. I need to do it with my other brush here. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with some cobalt and just add a little extra color along the bottom here of this one. So this is going to be one of those marbles that's pretty well uh, like a solid color blue with just a couple of variations. I'm even going to go in with a little bit of ultramarine. Gun. Hi, Lynn. Now I'm going to go through and a little dark. A little bit of my gray that I've made and I'm just mixing 
a really dark blue here. I could have used my Payne's Gray, but I may as well use a mix of colors that I'm already using. I need to add another layer of that dark on either side of that little insert that I've added up to this just to define it a little bit make it look like there's a couple of different colors so I'm going to go in with a strip of dark here And strip of dark here. Oops, maybe not. blue marble here is going to start with a cobalt layer. Oh, I'm not very good. I'm not very good at controlling these dang lines yet.
Thanks, Tara. Yeah, exactly, Kimberly. And if I want to do straight line and do a corner, they end up round. So you try and do something round and they end up having corners. I should be doing out around it with my liner brush, I think, rather than this. This is so soft. I haven't had enough practice with it yet. That's part of the, well, I'm going to say that's the reason, yeah. So, need to dry this. Exactly, Sophia. I've got to stop, but I'm not very happy with this reflection. <laughs> All right. So I need to wet this again. And that was cobalt, my first layer. My second layer, I'm just going to add an accent here using my ultramarine. I'm going to use my uh, liner brush here. Darn, it worked fine. And then it spread a little too much. So I'm going to tap it off and try again. I think I might need a little bit of water again but I don't want too much. Just want it damp. All right, let's try this again. All right, and then I'm just going to try and fix up this edge a little bit, but I'll probably make it worse. I wonder if I actually put, hmm, 
I wonder if I put these down. Ooh, I'm going to do that when I paint. Jean, you're so smart. I don't know if the paint will run under them, but I'm going to run to under it or not, but I'll try. All right, heat gun. Thanks, Elaine. Now this one is going to be like I did these orange ones over here with the uh, phthalo green first layer to make it look like the green glass. But I need to wet it first. So I'm going to try. And I've got a magnet here. It should hold it sort of in place. Let's see if that helps me or not. Oh, I still have to just wet it. I just took a piece of acetate and... Uh, Okay, I'm going to do around the edge with my liner brush because I think I'm a little more adept at my liner brush. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> well, you know what? I love my very first glass watercolor, Mary, was marbles. And I love doing glass. All right, so now while that's still wet, I'm going in with my gray color, my dark gray, which I created using ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And my circle mood, but that's okay. I got it back. Just to um, tone down that phthalo green a tad. I'm not sure having the circle helped a lot, but I think it's a little better. Right now I need to draw that layer.
All right. Now. Going in with the cerulean blue deep first. Way too much pigment, so I'm going to just use that and spread it. I should have drawn that going the other way because this one's already sitting that way. Dang it, Jean. That wasn't very good planning. I'm going to put a little bit of ultramarine in this stripe here. All right, half the battle is knowing when to stop, and so I'm stopping. Ooh, very cool, Sophia. That sounds fun. Hey, Debbie. guys think looking a little bit like marbles ah, don't know. when I'm not copying exactly it's harder for me I look for a different blue marble Ooh, that one's kind of cool okay I'm making them a little small too so it's kind of a little harder to uh Hmm. All right. And I know you guys can't really see much that I've put much down here, but I did just so that I could see my 
where are my lights coming from? I know, I'm not using the... I need to Yeah. Oh, a whole like 20 minutes of gabbing. I was showed me how much you guys pay attention. Let me tell you. Ah, gave away all your secrets. Yay, Shana.
I should have just done them all like normal marbles. And then I just need to add a bit of a shadow right here. Oh, not that much, Jean. Okay, heat gun. These will look better once I take. I'm almost ready to take the. Uh, these three are done, and this one. So I think I'll take the masking fluid off them and see what it looks like. Now, this paper is not as white as other paper that I've used either. So that makes it harder to get a good um, glow going. Thanks, Christy. I'm not sure about great, but I think I need to add... I think I know what I'm missing. I definitely know what I'm missing. And I may need to use a stiffer brush to get a good effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one might work, this brush. I'm going to my other set of brushes. 
my non-watercolor brushes. I think I know what I need to do. I need a piece of paper towel. I think I need a piece of clean paper towel. Great. Now I just got orange on this blue one because my brush wasn't clean. Dang it. <sighs> and it won't come off as well as the blue did. With the lights I don't know anyway I'm not so happy with this one at all I kind of like that better. I'm going to leave that one. All right. This one I think I'm going to do similar to this one with the clear glass with the kind of center. Color thingy my bar. But I'll put it in a different direction. A change of pace. Let me move over here so you guys can see what one I'm working on. Let me zoom in.
sorry I'm not talking much but uh, this is kind of a repetitive uh, process so I hope you guys all have something to work on and But not totally ignore me like they did last night and not even notice for 20 minutes that I was off camera. I'm just teasing. It's like they were having fun in they were having fun in chat, ignoring me. So what's you know? What more can you want from your stream? Hey, Josie. <laughs> yeah, I I agree, CB. I'm going to have to go over it with white or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it right now because I'm going to try something now that I've got this little, little guy out. I'm going to go in and wet my reflection here and see if I can pull Oh, sorry. Thank you, guys. Ugh. Is that better, you guys? I think that's better. I can't do any more because I don't want to peel the paper, but. I think that's better.
Yes, well, that's true. And it'll look better once I finish the table as well because you'll get more of a view of this stream of light once the table's got its second layer. But I didn't want to put the um, second layer of color down on the table until I was finished the marbles. Going in with a thicker ultramarine on my second layer to get a darker stripe on that side. And a darker stripe on this side. Just going around the edge again with my liner brush because it needs just a bit more of a defined edge. Excuse me for a moment, just need a
little sip. All right, now what about this one? What should I do? That's kind of similar to what I just did. Well, I'm gonna make it similar. I'm just going to make it go the other way. Jean, just a little too much color there, kiddo. Not a whole lot of big deals on Amazon, although I did buy plenty. I got a couple of really good deals. I got a good vegetable chopper because I hate my mandolin. And my sister had a really cool chopper. So they had it instead of 42, I only paid 25. So it's like, oh, that was a good deal. And it has like six blades and a container that you chop into. So that's nice. And it has two different sized dices. Oh, Christy, there was a terrible time getting into uh, Canada, Amazon Canada yesterday. Even once I got things into my cart, I had to click three times to even pay. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, but I had two I heard. One that was a really good deal, and the other one was a in like an okay deal. But two things that I really wanted. I also got some more of the six by nine B paper, fifty sheets of six by nine B paper for fifteen bucks. Well, actually twelve, because it was fifteen bucks, and then 
another three dollar coupon for Canada Prime. So yeah, it was a good deal. Bye, Shauna. Have a safe trip. Okay, but this time I think I'm going to use the cerulean so that I don't have the same. Color. And I think I'm going to do kind of like, I'm going to make my own design. Guess I'm not, because I messed it up. <laughs> and I went too far, and I don't know if I try and fix it, I might make it worse. But it's going to be, I think I'll leave it, because it's going to be where the... <coughs> <coughs> Okay, Shauna. So, all right, I've got three to paint over here. <sighs> Never ending number of marbles. You guys bored yet?
you're ready to stream, Debbie, just let me know. You can go over to your place and uh, I can finish this off recording offline. Getting a little better at the circles as I go. It's much easier with the liner brush. Get the edge right. And then switch to the other brush to move the paint. Okay, Debbie, I just thought I'd throw it out there in case you wanted to. Oh, Christy, did you? Aha. Cobalt's pretty blue. I think I need to add a little bit more cobalt. Oh no, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of this darker blue right down the middle. Those two right there. Think on that, I'm gonna add the dark blue again after I dry it. Ooh, I will. I will, Debbie. Thank you.
All right. Now I'm going to have to take out a little bit of color here to help with the glow or reflection, I should say. Okay. Bye, CB. Thanks. Just a minute, I'm going to Ooh. all right. I'm just looking for more inspiration here. All right, there's one I like. Oops. All right. Alright, so I'm going to start with a really light layer of cobalt blue. So I'm taking some up on top and spritzing. And so all right, so I'll dry that first light layer there. See if I need another initial layer. I might. This hasn't ended up very round. Oh well. I think I need another layer of the blue. A little more color in most of the area.
And then to visit Carrie, Orla. Are you still heading to see Carrie? Wetting it all again. Oh, okay, Orla. Have a good rest. See you later. Dot, I knew you weren't talking very much. I think Eileen's secret, well, she said she was playing with her jelly plate, but I think she's also secretly shopping. All right, one more in this spot. Picking up the wrong brush. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, come on, really? I just took out a new paper towel. I think I'm eating them or something. All right, now Oops, sorry. Oops. Oh, excuse me. Now I need to make sure that's dry before I draw my shape in here. Still have to add some shading and all right. Ultramarine. I think I'm going to go in with my little liner brush here. I'm still bothered by that reflection. It's not very good. It's 
better, but it's still not very good. I'm usually better at reflections, so it's really bothering me. All right. All right, so let's do... little bit of shading where these overlap So let's try and get these uh, Oh, this is going to be so hard to do the reflections. Oh, my goodness. What was I thinking? <sighs> All right. I'm going to go back over before I do these blue ones. I'm going to try and I'll elongate this reflection a little bit without making it too horrible. I don't know if I can because I'm going to end up with a line, but let's see what happens. Let's uh, use my... Try and scrub away that line. If I mess up, I'm going to scream and start all over again because this is... I should have left it. Thank you. 
Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. Because I really don't like that at all. And now I've messed it up. Ugh! Yeah, but the thing is, there's no table color here because there's going to be a stream of light where she is standing, right? So that's why she's got, she has a larger um, shadow because she's standing in the light. These ones aren't going to have much of a shadow. I'm going to leave it because... Okay, let's see if we can do this. I need to put more water in this orange because I think I have enough water down. Just please. I don't know if I made it any better or worse, you guys.
Now let's add Oh, excuse me. Can't totally get rid of the line. That's the problem. This one down here. Okay. Let's see if I can do that. I don't know. I just may have to start all over again with this whole painting because I really don't like what I've got. And I may totally get rid of this whole concept of standing in the light so that I can do a better, you know, I don't like it at all. Don't like it at all. Yeah, I'm trying, but I can't. Do you mean the one that I have on the top of the marble, Debbie? Is that what you're talking about? The line between the reflection and the marble? Oh, that last one? Okay. No, I I don't want to leave it because. All right. I think what was made it hard was when I when I put dark on it, then it kind of. Okay, I'm gonna leave it now. I think.
It's a little better, I think. <sighs> All right. See, my reference photo is opposite. The light was coming from behind. And so the reflection's on front of the marble. So I'm kind of, like, I, I was kind of reversing it, and it just didn't work so well. I should have actually flipped the picture, maybe. Hide out. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least the ones in the jar don't need reflections. So now I have to figure out what to do about the reflections here on the blue ones, because they're not in as much light. So I think I'll just do a smaller. What would you do, Debbie? More oval and blurry, yeah. Um, they're not going to be as big a reflection because they're not in the light. So I think I'm going to make just like a very small reflection behind the blue ones. Because they're, like, once I finish doing the table, you'll see the table's going to be a, not dark gray. It's still going to be light gray, but it's going to have more color than this. But it's not a glass table. It's not a mirror. It's just a, like, table. We could even make it a cloth table and not give them much reflection at all, actually. Okay, well, no, we can't. We have to give them a little reflection because the blue has a reflection, but... All right, so what I'm going to do then, um, I don't want to draw it in with a pencil because at least I don't, I, at least it's all the same color marble. So I don't have to worry about like what, what it would look like if red was shining through. Like if this one was red and this one was blue to, to show the red and the blue in the reflection, thank goodness. Yeah, I think, yeah, Debbie, I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just to show that they're sitting. Make sure my brush is very wet. So the light's coming from here, it's going to be a different angle by the time it gets over here. That's what I'm saying anyway.
Hi, Kalina. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Sorry, guys. Jeez, Louise. But sorry. Ugh. I apologize on the recording for not moving my video over. Isn't four months a little early for potty training, Galena? I had to, couldn't help it. I glanced up and saw that talk comment and I couldn't help it. All right, so there won't be any shadow for this one. behind, I mean. Look at that. I remembered to move you with me. That's, I know, Debbie. I really do. I'm sure they have them at the dollar store. Oh, well, Elisa was past three, Sophia, so, yeah. We're so right, Debbie. I'm going to go to Dollarama and get myself some marbles. Yeah, I yeah, I have to do the I have to do the uh jar as well. Yeah. Yep. I just haven't done that yet. But yes, thank you for reminding me of that. You have to be careful with this because it can be very bright. But I watered it down enough. Eesh. A little too much almost. But it's easier to add than take away. And that's just a good example of that.
right. I'm going to finish, finish the marbles before I go on to the jar, I think. Thanks, Debbie. I'm okay. I've calmed down. And then I think I need just a little showing from this one, but not a whole lot. Took too much off. Silly. I'm going to have to start collecting cool glass. I have some clear glass stuff, but I'm going to have to start collecting some cool glass jars and objects. All right, so now I'm going to go back and work on the jar here. I haven't done anything on the jar yet, so. Oh, that's weird. All I did so far for the jar was the background and the masking fluid. So I've done nothing with the jar yet. And that's going to change anyway because of the background. All right, so I have three marbles left to paint over here, believe it or not. Or five, actually, but I don't know what I was thinking.
think I need this. This one's particularly poorly traced here. No. Way too much, Jean. All right. Oh no, don't spread. Ugh. I knew that was gonna be an issue when I ended up with all that paint there. Darn it. Oh, thank goodness. My port, even my clean water is getting a little grungy right about now. All right. I just had to try and fix the circle a little bit, and I did. I want to finish the marbles and then I'll take a break and then I'll do the jar later tonight. But I would like to finish the marbles. <clears throat> Yeah, well, it has to be in to Glasgow the end of July, so um, I want to finish it and get it in the mail tomorrow or when, or tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. Tomorrow, I hope, is my plan. I'd love to get it in tomorrow. And that angle's all wrong for this. i got to change the angle of that light. Did I dry that or not? No, I don't know. I can't remember.
Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to mix a glue here that I'm not doing a very good job of mixing because I got way too much burn number now. I should have just used my paint gray. I keep forgetting I have it now. Oh, there, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Sophia. Go take care of your little one. Ooh, I like that. Make it darker so that the effect is on. Really like it. I think I'll just do a little wee bit of dark right on the bottom.
Oh, actually, I want cobalt on this one. Oh no, Christy. Uh oh. Bacon, egg, and chopped tomatoes on a whole dot. I'm finishing my marbles before I eat. I'm almost done. Two half marble, well, one and a half marbles left to go here. Done my marbles. Gonna lose my marbles. I still have some. Okay, I'm gonna do like a normal marble, or what was normal to us. These green ones with the little color curlies. The other ones were more expensive, so we didn't always get those. Actually, before I stop, I'd like to finish the table.
I think they're usually like 16 or 17. So yes, that is a good price. That's the regular ones. Was anybody watching Big Brother? So what do you think of this week, Debbie? Well, what do you think so far? Who's your favorite? Oh, I'm really gonna have to use this on this one too because this one got mangled big time. Yeah, I, you know, when they did the introductions, I didn't think I was going to like Tyler at all because I thought, oh, you know, he even called himself a, well, didn't use the word dumb, but not so bright beach bum, right? And I thought, oh, no, is he going to be another Jordan dumb as a doornail? And, uh. But he's not, and he knows how to play the game. I, I thought I like it. I like it. But they're certainly not showing some of them much at all. I think rock star is like ridiculous. It's like, yeah. And I, I actually even like Kaylee more than I would. Thought I would one of my favorite, but I uh, I like her a lot more than I thought it was going to as well. But uh, Well, yeah, exactly, Debbie. And I actually, yeah. He's just a nice kid, a nice guy.
Do you read any spoilers? Because I don't want to say anything if you don't read spoilers. Okay, so. Oh, did a terrible job on that one. Shaping that one. Wow. Oh, okay. I just read um, Joker's updates. But uh, so I know who has the veto and whether it's been used and whatever. But I won't say it. I will not say it. I don't want to ruin it for you. Oh. All right. All right, now I'm going to go in with some of this darker blue. Okay, now. I just need to add the dark for the overlap here. I'm just using my liner brush. To add a little shadow here where they just to show that. Some are in front of the others. All right, now a few uh, reflections. Uh, 
Ugh, keep picking up that wrong. It doesn't go to a point at all, but it's good for mixing colors. <laughs> That's what I use it for now is mixing colors. And there's going to be even less reflection here because the way the light comes. I think I also know what's wrong. I know what else is wrong with that one. Almost done. Hmm, that's not working either, so glad I did it light. I can lift it. It needs to look like it's sitting on something, So, but I think it needs to be dark, right? Not light. So I'm going to take some yellow. I'm going to take some of my dark and add it to the orange. Still not dark enough. All right, so I'm just going to ground these. Take off all the masking fluid that I didn't take off yet and see what happens.
softer or to far left where meets one in front. Oh, here to soften. Yeah, okay. Will do. See if my should this should do it actually. I hope. If not, I can take my other little one. No. I think I need this one. <clears throat> I think that's what you meant, Debbie. Thank you. All right, let's move over here. I'm trying to ground these just a little bit here. All right, and I need to ground my jar here. All right, so I'm going to heat gun this, and then the last thing I'm going to do is zoom out a little here. So I need to mix my dark. And I'm actually going to clean the well out because it's got a little orange in it.
So, my gray with ultramarine blue. Yeah, I will. I haven't done anything to the jar yet, Debbie. Do that after I get the, uh, yeah, I haven't done anything to the jar yet. So it's going to get some shading here, some shading here. Yeah, it's going to get a lot of shading. I've done nothing to it yet except paint the, paint the marbles. So, um, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing. I'm trying to decide what to have for supper tonight. I don't know what I want to have. I'm going to test it. <laughs> Just this is just cardstock. I just want to test the color. All right, so I've got my nice neutral black there, and so I will be adding a fair amount of water because it's not gonna. I don't want it to have a whole bunch of color. I just want there to be enough contrast to show that the light is shining there. So my large round. Actually, I'm going to need to change the the angle of this quite a bit. going to be gentle, but I've got my hog hair, big hog hairbrush here. I'm going to be gentle, but it will lift this for me. Because of the way I drew my reflection, I have to change the angle of the light here. I need paper towel, not baby wipe. Be all right with a baby wipe. Was dry, but it's not. That fixed that problem. <clears throat> Thanks, Debbie. All right, so here we go. So I'll start with this side. Let's get, I started getting it wet, then I realized I had to change the angle. Um, if I put tape down, I'm going to have to, uh, really, uh, tack it off on my clothes here because I don't want it to pull up my green. So I'm only going to. Press it down on the edge. I am not going to press it down all the way. Okay. 
And what the heck did I do with my brush? There it is. Rolled under my... Actually, it's not so bad that there's a little green in that. I should almost put a little green in it instead of just gray. I think I need to switch to my medium brush. That's too dark. Where the heck did my... Oh, why do I keep losing my paper towels? Tell me. Tell me, please. Ooh. Careful. Thanks, Jillian. Hey, me, Sarah. Oh, my gosh. Hi there. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. 
We need you to start streaming live on YouTube, we Sarah, because we miss you a lot. Now, Dorothy, Dr. Gibbs, Dr. Uh, Dorothy, Pandora's box, oh, sorry. sorry, she is from the UK. Sarah is from Scotland. She's a Scottish, a wee Scottish lass. All right, I'm going to draw it. Oh, I know. Okay, so you can see the table now and the stream of light. Uh, I'm still not sure about that reflection. I think it ruins the whole thing. I don't like it at all. Back part's actually not too bad, but I think I need a little bit more here. All right, so now I need to should do it with tape. It'll be easier to do it with the tape. I didn't throw it away, it's right here.
and then I'm going to take a break and later I will come back and I don't know if this is working right or not. Except that I messed up right there. Then I'm going to have to fix. Oh, it still went up too far. Dang it. Big one, little one. Sorry. stop because I'm gonna totally mess it up if I'm not careful. I'm just trying to define the table a little bit and it's just not working. Just gonna do it with the liner without a without anything to help. I'm getting pretty decent with the liner. had such a nice line there before I tried to do this so I'm going to try and fix it there we go not too bad I think I'm just being more, even more than usual hard of myself because it is going to be entered in a contest. And I'm just putting a little more pressure on myself to be like, you know, it's going to be viewed by a lot of people. <laughs> Some real artists. All right, folks, I am going to take a break and thank you. Uh, I'm going to come back sometime. If I don't finish it live, I will record it and upload it. So I, just, I need to finish the, oh, let's take off the rest of the, <laughs> I forgot to take off the rest of my, uh, because that's going to make a difference. So thanks everyone.
brown table instead of grays. Oh, so you mean so to kind of make it look like a oh, but that and that would still work because this would be like the gray undertone would be like the shading for the brown, right? So it would be darker here than here. That would work if I did the bird number and then make it look like uh Debbie, would you put the slats going across? Do you mean like a wooden table with, would you do it like that or just gray or just do browns? Glad to see you drop in, uh, Sarah. Sorry, it was just at the end. Debbie? Oh, did Debbie leave already? Thanks, Mindy. That's right, because then that, that would actually make it glow more. See, I was kind of thinking it almost needs yellow, but then yellow would be like light's not really yellow. But yeah, that would. It would make that stand out even more. Okay. Oh, no slots, just a brown wooden table. Okay, I think I'll do that. Well, you know, because I was thinking that the table kind of looks bland. It's not warm enough. It's a, too cool. A, uh, the gray is too cool. All right, I'll do that. Thanks, Debbie, for the advice. I'll take that advice. Okay, well, so thanks, everyone. I am going to sign off. Oh, where's my, oh, there it is. Sorry, I couldn't find my other window. <laughs>